Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hundoke. Today is Unshield, together with Reverend Kenichi Ito, and it is Tuesday, the 20th of September, or the 25th of August in the 10th year of Chong Il Guk. Let's begin with a bow to our Heavenly Parent and True Parents, Jariot, Kyombe, Paro. And uh, let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajon men se i chanil guk juin, uri kajogun, cham sarangil tunsimago, hanil pumonim gua, cham pumonim il mosio, chom juye tepe chok kajon i temio, tunsim chok kajon i teo, kajon es ne hyoja, kuka es ne tunsin, sege es ne soin. 천주에서는 선자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Family pledge number two. Our family, the owner of Chong Il Guk, pledges to represent and become central to heaven and earth by attending the heavenly parent and true parents. We pledge to perfect the dutiful family way of filial sons and daughters in our family, patriots in our nation, saints in the world, and divine sons and daughters in heaven and on earth. By centering on true love. Okay, I would like to ask um, Nar if she could offer the opening prayer, please. Let's pray. Good morning, Heavenly Parents. True parents of heaven and earth and humankind, thank you. We can come together to share and fellowship with one another, inviting you into our midst, and that we may hear you, understand your heart, what you like to tell us today, as we also. Um, give our hearts to you and our mind. I pray, Father, that you can speak through your words today through our elder brother, Reverend Yutaka. Heavenly Father, I pray for all of us um, to feel your love, and especially, Father, as we think and pray uh, for our true mother, our true parents, a true family, and one United Nation of Korea, where you can claim, Father, as your nation, as the beginning of all our nations in the world to become uh, yours, Father, centered on you. Uh, thank you. We offer this morning with uh, deep sincere sincerity and gratitude, Father, in my name. Bless Central Fan. Ah, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, let's give a, a warm welcome to Reverend Ito as he shares this morning with us. Thank you. Sorry, Reverend Ito. <laughs> thank you. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for uh, attending this Sunday uh, morning devotion. Every morning, Reverend Yutaka uh, present uh, the father's speech and the mother mother's speech regarding two parents and uh, the mission of youth as well as uh, champion providence. So many important things. Even we are three peak mind, you know, uh, every time full of uh, precious word. Even we difficult to digest every day such an important word. And also, the, I'm very appreciate that everybody, uh, brothers and sisters, precious testimony, how they met our movement, how they met two parents, and how mysteriously, uh, since their birth, uh, since their ancestor, uh, guided by God, and finally come to here and to meet two parents and the chosen, as a representative of the parents for spread out God's precious word to the world. 
So today is my turn. Uh, I try to share with you my own testimony, how I called by God. And uh, uh, I want to share with you this short time. Okay. No? Can see? No, I need to share the screen. Share. No, you need to, uh, not yet. Okay. Yeah, coming. Yes, okay. Uh, my calling from God, testimony my calling. Uh, first of all, we share with you the divine principle passage, which is the uh, end of the introduction of the second part. Uh, the problems of restoration and I. So, who am I? The divine principle clearly mentioned about in the providential fruits. The history of the providence of restoration and I, the individual body called I is after all, product of the history of the providence of restoration. This I therefore is a personage who is to fulfill the purpose history is headed for. Therefore, I must stand for the will of history. In order to do this, I must set up horizontally, centering on myself, all the conditions of indemnity which are demanded by the history of the providence of restoration to a long period. Only by doing this can I become the fruit desired by the history of the providence of restoration. Therefore, I must horizontally restore through indemnity in my generation, centering on myself, all the mission of all the ages, which the prophet and, and saint elected for the purpose of the providential restoration in the course of this history, have left and accomplished. Otherwise, I cannot become the individual body having accomplished the purpose of the providential restoration. In order for me to become a, such a historical victor, I must know precisely God's heart when he walked with the prophet and the saint, the fundamental signification of his calling them and the providential mission he entrusted to them. There is no one among fallen men who can really stand in such a position all by himself. Therefore, we must understand all these things through the Lord of the Second Advent, who is to come as a completion of the providence of restoration. By believing in him and becoming one body with him, we must be in the position to set up horizontal all the vertical condition of indemnity in the history of the providence of restoration. In this manner, the way which all of our predecessors who have come to fulfill God's will in the providence of restoration have hitherto trodden is what we ourselves must walk again today. Besides, we must walk even the way they have left untrodden. For a man can never find the way of relief without knowing the particular and the content of the providence of restoration. Therein lies the reason that we must know the principle of restoration in detail. So this is really, uh, what am I? We are the fruits of providence of restoration. Uh, in my case, uh, 
I was born in the certain uh, north part of uh, Japan. The name is Akita Prefecture, uh, near Hokkaido. And I think in, in Australia, there's a uh, Japanese lady from Akita, some few uh, married with Australian. And, uh, and the 19, born 1948, uh, right after World War II, and uh, the so-called baby boom. This is uh, in the United States also. World War II, so many men died. So government insists to get baby. Yeah, so we say call this baby boom, 1948. Uh, so many children born and always classmate full of students, you know, full of competition. Yeah, many. One class more than 50 uh, students and 10, or 50, even 15 class in the one, you know, uh, age. So many. And also to, to entrance examination to university, high school and university is also very fierce battle. In such an age, we are born and uh, that right after World War II, and uh, in Japan was, you know, the occupied by the GHQ, the so-called you know, United Nations uh, or United, United States of America, so-called you know, Christian nation for victor over Japan and German and uh, uh, or Italy. And uh, their policy is to eradicate Japanese extreme right-wing thought. Just like a samurai spirit, you know, zero fighter spirit, kamikaze spirit, you know, they're really afraid. So to eradicate this, and they try to bring the Christianity, you know, where Japanese is the Shintoism, setting upon emperor, so bring Christianity, many missionary come, and also especially they brought left wing personnel, the American, like some communist American brought and uh, put the education field and other business and uh, media field, all field, they put those left-wing personnel and also Japanese left-wing person. Uh, before World War, you know, those left-wing is very, you know, we, we try to catch up in imprisonment, but they come up again and become a high position. So left-wing communists, uh, enter the different organizations, especially education field. Accidentally, my father was a school teacher and the principal of elementary school. And uh, so his way of speaking, way of thought is very left wing. He doesn't like American, especially missionary, etc. Christianity, he doesn't like and uh, left wing. And in just environment. And also, my special, my case is my father is uh, like adopted, married, adopted son, and my mother, even mother also, the adopted daughter since uh, baby age, and uh, she was hiding, and uh, and, and only when we become a uh, uh, university, my mother told me we are the uh, adopted. So I there felt something, uh, even the grandparents. So grandparents know phys physical and uh, blood relationship. But you know, I try to uh, you know like love grandfather, grandmother. But I felt something distance, you know, something distance. This makes some uh, create my character. And my also grandfather has a Japanese inn, you know, like a. Japanese traditional hotel in, and I was growing up there. And also my father teacher, so different <laughs> environment. And uh, the uh, uh, kindergarten was a uh, American broad Catholic, you know, and uh, Catholic uh, kindergarten. So I go there and agree to the Jesus statue and uh, we celebrate for Christmas and Easter, but after go to the elementary school, completely uh, nothing, completely uh, Japanese 
uh, non-religious uh, way of uh, teaching. And uh, yeah, and uh, I become uh, the middle school was the biggest middle school in the city of Akita. And uh, I enter the gymnastic, you know, uh, gymnastic, you know, finally in the third year, I become a captain of gymnastic. And uh, we got in the, in the Akita prefecture, we become a third time champion, gymnastic uh, in a group, you know, so, so called Shintai. So, new today, the athletic gymnastic group together. You know. And uh, enter the uh, high school. High school is you know, the best high school uh, in, uh, in Akita prefecture. Uh, and also same time, and uh, also sports also very strong. And uh, our you know, baseball team go to the Koshen, some national uh, championship, and even go to the you know uh, second and before final. Yeah, very uh, amazingly strong. But uh, yeah, my classmate is also the you know the pitcher, you know the. Uh, very main picture, but he is always sleeping during the uh, classmate, you know. And also, the something influenced me is uh, when I am a second uh, year of high school. My teacher was uh, uh, teaching us uh, like uh, moral moral eth ethics. She studied philosophy and uh, the name of Kierkegaard and Swedish, I think, the philosopher, ex existentialist philosopher. So I influenced by her, and I thinking about something like uh, universe, etc. After graduate high school, uh, I tried to go to the Tokyo to enter the university, but I failed, you know, two years. I was in the wandering in the, the, the Tokyo, and uh, I uh, try to find out some truths by preparing to the uh, entrance university examination. However, I have a lot of time, so I did the many uh, uh, center of uh, culture center. Uh, you know, I hear many speech of famous writer, novelist, philosopher, musician. And you know, even the Nobel Prize scientist, uh, etc. Uh, and I really influenced by them. Then I visited also sometimes Buddhist temple, uh, Sinclair's Mission, and uh, also Christian church to find out something in my image. There is a, some image of Jesus is something my behind. I not clearly understand that. Something, image of Jesus is always together with me. I don't know. Jesus suffering image. And finally, you know, by just many, uh, my journey of a spiritual journey. And also, I struck by philosopher, European philosopher, just like Lune Descartes, Descartes of France, uh, and Cogito El Rosin, that I, I think I am. Japan, you know, don't you see? And, uh, and also the Dostoevsky and the Tolstoy, those Russian uh, philosophers, uh, novelists, etc. Anyway, many of those influences. Finally, I entered the university. Uh, the, that university, the, by chance, accidentally, University of Waseda, father, father's university, father was a graduate at the university, father study of the electronic, but I study of the English literature. And uh, then in the new freshman's the entrance, entrance, there is a many uh, club is you know the inviting us. So I'm interested in philosophy, so I enter the philosophy club. I I I like my sign, but that philosophy club was original yeah, really this was a, a cup, Japanese cup. Uh, metropolitan Tokyo Metropolitan Cup, yeah. So, and uh, 
and uh, I I felt very strange. Something like we had a seminar in the, you know some uh, the, uh, uh, university the, the seminar house, and I felt very strange. Something, but one uh, I I open one room with some understanding and uh, some prayer. You know <laughs> what they are doing, <laughs> and and. And this is they are praying, you know, to get new new student here. Yeah. And also, I'm interested in, uh, about the spirit world. And uh, at the time, uh, uh, I was a very uh, almost the last day, you know, I was searching many things but couldn't find, and so isolated and like a, like a desert. You know, in Tokyo, it's so many population, but nobody know. You know, even whole day we're working our like a big city, you know, like no, we not meet even one person who, whom I know. So very isolated and come back to the you know, apartment alone. And such a very like a, a internally dry situation and almost last day. So I tried to uh, open up the Bible. Okay, in the end, I read Bible, something like this. I start read Bible, Genesis, etc. At the moment, I attend this uh, philosophy seminar, and they say there's another seminar. Oh, really? Yeah. And it is this is a development seminar, and uh, and uh, the staff uh, come to my apartment saying, Mister, hey, can you come to this seminar? Yeah, I yeah. Can I hear some? Pastors, the uh, guidance. Well, I am interested about spirit world. Oh yeah, you can hear. Yeah, sure. So I'm very interested in that time. This uh, seminar, three day workshop. That's the four day workshop. And I understand. Oh, this is a unique Christian church. <laughs> At the time, unique Christian church is very famous in general. Is already uh, so <laughs> news and and I saw. And, uh, and on the street, one lady and open had a, like a, in Tokyo, near, I think, uh, Idawashi, etc. There is a blackboard, a handy blackboard, and teaching something. With, wow, one lady, young lady, in front of the public, with a loud voice, such a, wow, amazing. And after finish, she telling this, that board I don't move to other place. Wow, something impersonal. Yeah. But when I attended the three-day workshop, I saw haha in that, you know, like uh, one of the stuff men there. And uh, that three days I am not so seriously attending. Sometimes I go out during the, the same time, go out to the to the cafe, caf, cafeteria in the nearby. <laughs> I'm very not so serious. But that, Anyway, with you know, I completed just three days and, and got, come come back to the, the apartment. Then my spiritual father, you know, again come to my apartment. Mr. Ito, there's a more another big seminar and I got to talk you know, that near Osaka, you know, Takarazuka, you know, yeah, Takarazuka nearby uh, Osaka. Oh really? And I'm hesitating how to do it. And he's waiting and calling, Mr. Ito, come quickly. Something like this. <laughs> I'm thinking, go or not, you know, hesitating. And uh, finally, I go together and uh, finally go to the Takarazuka by train. And this is a mountain and the training center. And many people get on there. Yes. Uh, two week uh, uh, workshop it was amazing. Many spiritual things happening, and somebody become a spiritual, and uh, somebody you know yeah, jump from the window or something, and some and uh, lecturer with better score certain uh, certain participant who is not positive etc. At the time you know there is a, some you know public speech course. Doing the different things too. And, uh, you know, and another, you know, they said, okay, we go down to the town and make it. anything you, you want, you can make public speech, street speech. 
Oh, really? And uh, I don't know what I said. Soon will be third world war will happen, I said with a loud voice. And people, huh? what? Then I stand and say, look at me. <laughs> wow, I feel very, wow, not so bad. <laughs> Good feeling, something. <laughs> and this kind of experience. And after come back, now they put me to the, like a, like a uh, card kindergarten, you know, some new, newly joined and uh, student put like a, like a kindergarten class before uh, going to the cup of different university people affect me, you know. So uh, this kindergarten, the different university students gathering and uh, we, uh, even we studied Korean, Korean and uh, the Japan principal and sometimes go to movie, you know, just like very free, you know, and go to also go to the school university. At the time, in Japan, externally, very uh, leftist movement going on, and the famous Japanese writer is a candidate of the Nobel Prize, uh, Yukio Mishima. He is a very uh, prominent uh, uh, writer, and he is a very intelligent graduate university in Tokyo, and uh, he made uh, Harakiri suicide, and uh, because uh, he he made uh, some judo like uh, Japanese samurai style training, and also military training, and he shouted to the Japanese defense military is not good, not no no guts, so he come to the balcony of the headquarter of the uh, Japanese defense army. He made a speech. You, you need God. You must understand, etc. More, you know, uh, uh, power, something like this. So he shouted. After then, uh, he made his his group. He said Tateno Kai uh, with some uh, university student from our university. Also, the member of them. He made the Harakiri, uh, Harakiri suicide and uh, some of the kaishaku beheaded this thing happened wow i like his novel you know so even even i'm doing immigration church or some just training course but i get out go out and go attend his funeral you know in the, in the buddhist temple anyway something will happen then uh, I moved to, after a certain months, I moved to the Waseda University uh, Cup Center. Then I started activities. Since then, until 19, uh, uh, this was a, when I joined in 1970, 1970, and 1970, 1975, you know, I was a cup member in Tokyo and uh, I was, uh, was also, you say divine principle. Which I I did a lot of divine principle lectures. Uh, at the time, I often go to the uh, holy ground. You know. I don't have any spiritual experience. When I you know felt uh, why I why I joined in the Unification Church is I was very isolated and the you know lack of family senses. So. I come to the home, so-called home. You know. There's a brother and a sister living together, and then I, just like a brother sister, like a one family. I really felt a warm-hearted uh, environment, so I cannot move. You know, so I naturally stay there, and uh, and uh, until you know my heart to fulfill. My heart was like a dry, like a desert, and step by step, you know, by the brother sister always loving me and uh, the water coming something yeah melting more and more so i feel very good yeah so i at the time i read bible very special old testament very interesting uh especially the uh the like uh kings you know the uh, Saul, david solomon uh, that quote uh, is a very interesting. I read very detail 
And this knowledge become a very helpful after I come to the missionary come to Burkina Faso when I met president, different president. You know. This is a really uh, problem of, of restoration centering upon this like, kingdom, United Kingdom, like uh, Israel Kingdom, Saul, David, Solomon, yeah, this detailed story. And also my prayer, always I go to the playground, a backyard of the university, there's a small mountain, which I think uh, the first mission of Japan, uh, Mr. Che maybe made this uh, holy ground. Many times I go there and I pray. I have to pray uh, like this. And also, uh, so 1975 finally came and I was uh, blessed much by the, my wife. And, and uh, this is a, uh, what say the uh, boarding center. At the time, father was a very, very clever, I, I think, because uh, we blessed February uh, 8th in uh, Korea, very cold uh, days. And uh, uh, so journalism, of course, at that time already many news. And uh, suddenly, father come in the evening uh, to the outside of Tokyo, the boarding center. Not, you know, boarding center, nobody knows so much about the countryside. And the southern call, you know, those who is age, uh, age 20, 22, 23 up, must uh, come to the boarding center, you know, 1975. I immediately understand, oh, this must be something matching. But never say, nobody say, because uh, one year before, uh, father came to the Japan and behind the, the Tokyo, there is a one mountain, is a Sayama, one mountain, like a salmon, like Jesus salmon of, of mountain. Same, the father come to the mountain and we gather in the surrounding father and the father made a speech. At that time, father said, there's no blessing next year. Father said, oh, there's a blessing next year. Father <laughs> said like this. At the time, I have a, a little bit spiritually open. I, when father come, you know, the rain fall coming, but when father walking, you know, like a, like a surrounding place, there's no rain coming, rain fall. Wow, I saw it. Something was an angel type, something I in something you know coming together. I saw some spiritual open and see that something. But I was I, I don't have so much special experience, spiritual that dramatically. Anyway, and uh, uh, finally I blessed and uh, finally we come back. To Tokyo from Korea. The next day is, you know, father's broken speech. Father, this, at that time, father can enter the Japan. So father made some speech in Budokan Hall. Budokan Hall is a you know, yeah, martial art center. You know, Budokan Hall. Uh, Mr. Abezu, uh, funeral will be also the same place, Budokan Hall. Uh, and Budokan Hall. Next, so we immediately after I my back put to the cup center, I immediately go out to the street. They say we'll go to the Takada no Baba, that you know, like a trans uh, metro station, and we are selling ticket. Yeah. Then that evening, you know, somebody calling, oh, Mr. Ito, can you go to the headquarter office, headquarter center? I don't know why. Yeah, I think why, but I went there. So when I go there, uh, all the headquarters center, headquarter office, there's a many 1800 couple just you know, breast, uh, especially a brother there with more than uh, 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 university, college, college, oh, oh, ah. was there about 90, 90 uh, uh, man, 90 man was there, brother was there. We don't know what happened. 
And this is the second floor. The first floor, the, the father and the national leader of Japan, Mr. Uh, Nils Saronen, and the German national leader, uh, uh, German national leader, Paul Warner, some meeting, I don't know what they're meeting, something discussion meeting, and we're waiting the second floor, a big hall. And finally, father came and together with the Reverend Kuboki, who is the president, the Reverend Oyamada, who is the vice president, came out and immediately walked him up. And I'm there. So what happened? And father only speak 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes. You know. And then now nomination, you know, dispatching nomination, what? without asking, are you okay or not? Never asking. Southern speak, past the Latin America, then Asia, finally come to Africa, you know, and uh, Ito, Burkina Faso, at the time, Oto Volta, Upper Volta, former name. I don't know in this, this country, never know. There's no internet at the time. So we went to the National Library and find out what's Oto Volta. There's no news, even 10 years before. And about NHK TV news come out, there's some sickness of the brain, uncle calls is coming up. Some such a strange, very poorest of the world. When I received father's mission and unknown poor uh, country, you know, when father say, I, I understand. I don't know why my original mind and rejoice, you know, Nobody knows at the time. Nobody hear the so nobody know reaction you know, because they never heard the name, even myself, the name of Otto Volta. Name. Yeah, no, I, I greet it, but nobody just clap hand, nobody some. So if, if somebody say oh, uh, Egypt, wow, well, Israel, wow, Greece, Greece, yeah. When uh, said Ivory Coast, and Mr. Kubrick said, Oh, yeah, the the Merchant of ivory, <laughs> ivory merchant, like a uh, smuggling ivory merchant. And also, the, when the uh, father to Ghana, some missionary to Ghana, oh, you are king of Ghana, father said. To myself, father said, nothing. So I really, you know, at that time, pray. And since then, I start praying. Always, you know, I moved to the now uh, missionary the, the, the section. And every time I go to prayer room, pray, pray, pray. But you know, nothing, I don't know, nothing happened. Everything we prepare, and then we start seminar, special seminar, yeah, divine principle. And also speciality is not that different than other is we have special seminar and like a world situation. So government, government official come and teach us like a political situation, especially the person is an agent, secret agent to enter North Korea, and also he know, yeah, he know how to, you know, like a spy. Yeah. Japanese Minister of Foreign Affairs sent those person. And also the missionary come, <laughs> two missionary, former missionary, Catholic missionary, but former missionary, but in Japan he, you know, he left that as a missionary, but he became a theological, you know. Scala, so he teach us what is a mission, yeah. And also some uh, pastor come to the free, freedom like a pastor, et cetera, because of the communist era. No, you, you no worry, just go, just go. Don't think so much, just go. Something like and the missionary should be less than 27 years old, not after, like this. <laughs> so, we, we read this kind of book, you know, look for the missionary. Then I'm, I try to prepare uh, fundraising and everything. And I, June, I went to Burkina uh, Faso. There I met American and German. Yeah, started. Uh, next step, anyway, this is uh, something, you know, before I know the world in Japan, preparation in Japan, mostly main issue is I study divine principle, lecture practice, and prayer. 
That's all. No experience. That's all. And only challenge. Anyway, when uh, uh, we we're using very cheap airplane pass through Moscow and to the Paris for the first time. The Paris and the French brother is very member is very welcome for missionary in guiding us to the you know party like a sightseeing etc. You know even the former you know European senator like a Pierre Serac driving me you know. In the future, he become a, a senator of the European Union Parliament. And, uh, uh, and uh, after then, I will go to the Ivory Coast and the water water with the puzzle and started and met missionary American and German. This is another step is how to overcome those unification of three nations. This is another challenge. This make me really great change. I never met American, never met German, and also live together every day, the same table, same food, same activity, amazingly, dramatically change in by uh, three years or five years, struggling a lot, and uh, I cannot say this detail, there's no time. But, you know, like a samurai met American cowboy, something like this. I have a samurai come with a sword and uh, American come, hey, and joke, something like this. And <laughs> what's happening? And there's a German uh, Hitler soldier coming like this. All those personal figure. Father said this is World War II, indemnify World War II. Anyway, this important point is indemnification. To see my life, uh, some indemnification is coming. Uh, I say, you know, there is a one more. This is this one. It's the case of indemnification example in the father's case. Uh, uh, restoration of Christianity. And in the history in Korea, there, you know, you, you study from the uh, Yamada's lecture, there's a man's side, woman's side, preparation for welcome the second coming. And uh, when father go to North Korea and uh, imprisonment, father know somebody waiting him. This is, uh, you know, folk to go uh, Lee Hovind, Mrs. Lee Hovind, in present of that uh, uh, spiritual movement, and uh, when the uh, Lord will born from her, uh, 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 what's it, uh, from her. Lee Hovind is waiting, the father gave a uh, letter to her, please, all reject and come out. So if she come out, she was saved and met the Lord. And at the time, Christianity will have a complete mission together with the Lord of the Second Adam. But however, she rejected. She didn't even leave. And this paper, she threw away. And the uh, prison official gets this. And the father was very fiercely damaged and he was tortured and almost died. And the and he, he, he and his movement and you know, stuff all was finally executed there. That finished. So Christianity completely cut off, failed Christian mission. Now, Father indignified. Yeah, that was September 18, 1946, when she rejected the faith. But, uh, uh, September 18, 1974, was a Muslim Square Garden even Father Dale Pope speech. Father chose this day, September 18. Why? To indemnify September 18, 1946, the failure of the Christian. And also September 18, 1976, in Washington, D.C., you know, the 
Washington Monument Rally, 1976, September 18. This also September 18, the same day of rejection of Christ. So by this, further indignify and Christianity, failure of Christianity in Korean level and the worldwide level. And the father, after enter the Danbury prison, father sent a special letter message to the old Christian ministers. And also, it, so they support father. Finally, also, father sent many uh, pastors to the Korea to make special education, pilgrimage, etc. By this, American Christianity stand with father, and the Christianity have been restored. So I have uh, this kind of experience in Burkina Faso. You know, this is uh, like, uh, uh, I divided different king, like a president, like a Saudi David Solomon, a different king. And, uh, and also the, if one king failure, pres providence postponed to next king and the indemnification also coming, something like this. So. Anyway, we deported ourselves. There, the coup d'etat happened. You know, leftist coup d'etat happened when we fell. So, uh, and we deported our member to the neighbor country and come back, just like that. <laughs> Go to the Egypt and come back, something. And I don't say the detail now, there's no time. But, you know, if we really analyze, we can see really what we treating is exactly Providence of restoration are indemnity. Yeah. And so there's also central figure. So we can analyze each nation, each nation by this principle. Anyway, like a 77721 year course dividing, and even a Marshall Island also, the Burkina Faso. I met all the president, founding president, next president, a third president. First president, etc., and I met them individually, and I understand. And uh, this person, if failure, what will happen? Yeah, we can, we can see. You know, if we really pray, we can see. Oh, this direction is a wrong, wrong direction. We shouldn't do like this. Anyway, this kind of inspiration coming when we have a responsibility of that nation. God is working through me. And we make such a judgment, like a natural sense. So we should give advice to the president, head of state. If he didn't follow, like a uh, child of David Solomon at the time, uh, who appointed the soul, soul, the prophet Samuel. Yes, prophet Samuel position. You know, Samuel make advice. God make advice, but Saul didn't hear. So move, mission moved to the David. Yeah, David also big mistake. And this is a, you know, this is this lady mistake. And so Saul, so David and Solomon also make big mistake. Nation dividing two, Abel and Cain, North and the South. Those kind of, you know, history by indemnity uh, is not another history, my history. And we understand my own life, my own mission, my own mission country, you know, not just, you know, a communication church member thing, but we can, must see, yeah. So some, that's why we need to every time study divine principle, go back to divine principle, start from divine principle, yes. Every day I'm very sleepy, you know, living in Utaka, always part of speech, very high level, you know, but without digest, even one word, you need to digest. You know, without digest, again, another word comes. So too much eating, <laughs> you know, too much. Yeah. So we need time, space, and we need our own world, like a practice own world from get from father, like just like living for the sake of others. Only this world, you know, living for the sake of others. Only practice this world is also many times we need to do. 
in love enemy. Love, forgive, and unite. I, I did many times this practice this American missionary and the German missionary, especially American missionary. It's very difficult at the time, you know. The name is Charles Cummings, and uh, he was uh, even American said he's a different, difficult person. Yeah, there was a former hippie, you know, in uh, our age, there was a hippie uh, special, you know, for people, long hair, mustache, and marijuana. <laughs> but after two days workshop, completely hair clean up, shape, and stop marijuana and become missionary, come to the Africa like this. <laughs> A very interesting thing. Yeah. But we love them, unite with them. Yeah. After you know five years, we are so greatly united, one of the best unity. But Redan and Redan Quark said, oh, your country is special. All of you three is a special character. It's very difficult, you know, like something like this. Finally, you know, this, oh, you are great. So unity and a long time, you know, this. okay, something. Yeah, I, sorry, I tried to finish this one. Anyway, uh, through my experience, anyway, God is calling and training, training me and God has utilized us to accomplish God's project. Finally, Father came at the end of my mission. Yeah. And also Marshall Island also. This is really original Father's God's desire. Yeah. We are just the two of them. To, to do this, we need training, we need prayer, many uh, practice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much, Reverend Ito, for sharing your your testimony with us, your life. Uh, yeah, really, uh, yeah, such a, uh, a great uh, experience you have. Uh, just uh, stop sharing for you. Okay, there we go. All right. Yes. So yeah, uh, it, uh, well, let's give him a round of applause for <laughs> sharing his his life, his testimonies. Uh, uh, so many things happened, uh, and and yeah, really yeah, long time dedicating his life. He really is a, a model uh, member, uh, really an example of living for the sake of others, and really yeah, keeping our true parents' uh, tradition and heart you know, always. Yeah, he's. Always, you know, so uh, serious about you know, how he can you know, let everyone know uh, about our heavenly parent and true parents. They're really uh, 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 grateful to have him in our region and area, and and uh, I hope uh, you know, everyone gets a chance to to meet him and and share together with him. Uh, we actually have used up all our time, but uh, if there are a couple of people who would like to uh, make a comment, uh, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Rai, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Reverend Ito, today, and that's such an incredible uh, journey and a testimony, and uh, very deep uh, understanding uh, of the providence. I think a lot of prayer and uh, especially also restoration of the Christianity. And uh, uh, I, I, I don't know this really uh, uh, the Madison Square Garden or the Washington DC event was same day, eight, uh, September 18th. Uh, so they it is incredible, uh, one. And, but also you said lastly, uh, true father came to Marshall Island, the real providence start, and uh, just you say, you are just a tool, but uh, you are not just on the tool. I think it is incredible to be a product. I think one of the model and the respect, truly, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Yeah. Thank you, Revenue. And 
Uh, yes, uh, Reverend Lim, go ahead. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I think because I'm not enough time, uh, I'm, uh, I want to say something about Reverend Ito. Um, yeah, I really have a wonderful experience uh, uh, working together with him and spend time uh, always in Korea. Um, he will come uh, early to uh, prepare for leaders meeting and uh, go to, co I mean, uh, we always go together to, uh, um, to Seoul, from Chongpyeong to Seoul together. And uh, through that time, I could uh, get to know him. And when, whenever I think about him, I uh, also remember behind him, his uh, wife uh, really supporting and uh, Always, uh, I see them uh, come together when there is a two parents uh, event. Uh, even though they are missionary, uh, financially always challenging, but uh, they always uh, attend uh, two parents as a couple together. And I have a chance to um, uh, study together with his son, Noriaki, and uh, also to his uh, son, I could uh, see their family not only them, but uh, their family's uh, uh, dedication and uh, support uh, God's providence. And uh, especially um, at the end, he mentioned Marshall Island. I think that was uh, very important for Oceania, whereby uh, uh, there was a state, um, state invitation of uh, two parents to uh, a nation by uh, Oceania uh, country. That was, I think, uh, historical. In that sense, uh, Reverend uh, Ito is a historical person to make that uh, happen in our region while True Father was uh, alive because it's a state invitation. And uh, also, um, I think connect to uh, uh, what he say about sovereignty. Um, I, yesterday, I watched uh, the Queen's uh, uh, state funeral. There was a state funeral and uh, uh, a lot of uh, 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 minister, religious leader, they pray. Uh, everything, everybody uh, ending with a, a Lord Jesus. They uh, really recognize uh, Jesus. So uh, that is uh, Christianity Day, and uh, and then I, and then I I thought uh, she lived a seventy. I mean, uh, governed seventy years and a long life, uh, and uh, she has a. Uh, very important era now coming to end. And then uh, my wife says she, her era actually lived together, two parents era. Then I thought uh, how much uh, she know about our two parents uh, in, in this era. So everything wonderful, uh, but how much uh, she, maybe when she go to spirit world, she may be surprised that uh, she live in a time of our uh, two parents. So I think that is, uh, 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 I felt like uh, something, um, her majesty and uh, her period um, may be missing in terms of uh, uh, be able to uh, 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 connect with her two parents. Uh, but uh, anyway, people really respect her and uh, give a, a final farewell and a good ending for her, for her life on earth. So we hope her. Uh, she will be able to connect two parents in the spirit world from now on uh, for her. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Lim. Thank you, Reverend Ito. Thank you, everyone, for coming. It's uh, time for us now to uh, offer our unison prayer together. I'll just uh, share the screen and uh, let's uh, pray together. Thank you.
Aju, Aju, Aju. Thank you, everyone. Thank you again, Revenita, for really sharing your life and journey with us. And uh, I'll see you all again uh, tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you, Revenita. Thank you very much. Ito sensei, arigatou gozaimasu.